to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Big it's, celeb couple breakup news. It's happened. Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles. <laughs> Allegedly not together, no mo. It's the salad dressing. We all saw it. Coming. I know, I know. I am so frustrated <laughs> with this entire thing. So they said they're taking a break. Okay, all right. I'm sure that's what that is. And they've already had sources close to them reach out to People Magazine in different places saying that they're just taking a break because it's the distance. You know, Harry's going to be touring around the world for the next year. Olivia's going to be in London with her two children. And it's just, you know, they just want to get in front of it rather than it end up being just a fight where they break up. But they remain the best of friends, which is a lie. No one is best <laughs> friends after a breakup. Don't try to play. <laughs> Second, we are going to talk about the salad dressing because I was so emotionally invested. So allegedly, the whole way that she got him into this relationship was with some magic salad dressing, right. which is not a euphemism that was so <laughs> delicious that Jason Sudeikis laid his body behind her car so that she couldn't leave because he was so broken, a broken man over salad dressing. <laughs> and so I was here for this. I tried the salad dressing. It was terrible. Well, not terrible, average at best. And so I don't know, maybe Harry Styles went out and spread his wings. Somebody got him a bottle of Hidden Valley Ranch and he knows the truth now <laughs> that there are better salad dressings out there. I mean, the it really Valley. did sound like the most basic Dijon vinaigrette recipe I'd ever heard of. So there wasn't even pepper or yeah. salt in it. Yeah, it was no, no, it was terrible. Uh, men I'm were basic glad. creatures. I don't know. I don't know what you want. Easily impressed, I guess, even <laughs> if you're Harry Styles. Well, no, I, I, I don't. I, yeah, I don't think that they're gonna stay for. I would be surprised if they're gonna just stay BFFs. They just seem, they seem like they're on different paths in life, and I just, I'm, I'm not surprised. I guess. Really? Yeah, and, and they cited Harry Styles, you know, going on tour, world tour next year, as one of the reasons that you know, it just necessarily wasn't going to work out, but he's been on tour for a year and a half, almost the entirety of their relationship. So right. like, I, I don't know what that excuse is. I'm just happy we've reached the point where we can stop talking about salad dressing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 never. I'm, <laughs> never. I still never. never. Yeah, I still never tried anything with it. I might have to just just for don't. funsies. I might. I we might should do that on the salad. show. Maybe we make it on the show. Okay. That's what that's test. what we need to do. And then we'll mm -hmm. do a taste test. A giant waste of time. I okay. did it. I followed it to a T. I took a bite well, and like there's like never be a been for some so days. much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> much <laughs> disappointment. Oh, we'll man. give it a try. Yeah. Why not? All right. It's a wow. sad day when the lettuce brought more flavor to the bowl. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, not a ringing endorsement there, Liz. Fired. Okay, well, <laughs> well, we hope they're both happy and, and living their best celeb lives. Mm -hmm. um, you know who's living her best life? Taylor Swift. She's, uh, you know, despite all of the Ticketmaster debacle last week, she had a pretty good weekend at the AMAs. Yeah, she won six awards, everything she was nominated for last night, and she has now won 40 American Music Awards. She is the most winning person ever when it comes to the AMAs. And some of the things she won, you know, are not surprising. Some are. She got Artist of the Year, Favorite Music Video, Favorite Pop Album, Favorite Country Album. So she's back in the country category. Wait, what? Favorite, yeah, Favorite Female Pop and Favorite Female Country. Wow. So, okay, were these... Uh, this was not based on Midnight's the most recent release, but were these from like Folklore and Evermore? Folklore. Okay. Yeah, based on that. And so I guess the folksy sound uh, brought her right back into country. So she just basically was a very winning lady last night. Seriously. I mean, it just goes to show how much like good music she just has just been cranking out in the pandemic mm. when you're like, well, she swept the award show. Was it for this album, this album, or this album? Who right. knows? They've all been, you know, breaking the charts. In you know, her acceptance speech, she even said over the past couple of years, she's put out more music in that amount of time than her entire career. Yeah. Like she's just been churning it out. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it's nonstop for her. And I've said this before on the show. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to start that petition today to make sure that Taylor Swift stops winning awards because now she's, <laughs> 
circling back <laughs> into the country category. Give the people a chance, Tim. <laughs> Nobody save, else can save win. Save some for the other artists. No, <laughs> right? I mean. No. What do you even do with 40 trophies? You know it's going to be the same story next year, too, because Midnight's is going to win all the awards. I mean. I just want another album in the hip-hop category. Ooh. That's where I want to see her dominate. Let's see if she can bring it over there, too. She might. 2023, maybe. Who knows? Also, who would have thunk we were talking about T-Swift and not talking about Ticketmaster right now? That's yeah. that's yeah. Only, <laughs> only Taylor Swift is the one who could circumvent something like that mm -hmm. right now. So, all right, guys. Well, we will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye. Yeah. And you can li listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.